G'day guys, welcome to Lumber for a 1v1 Valkyrie tournament game. And we're going to see the conclusion between Nat Nat and Mr. Pringles. Mr. Pringles going as Finland from Finland and Nat Nat's going as USA from England. He's going an elite marksman squad straight down the roadway, storming in, perhaps going to the cover of the stone wall and we'll get there very fast as Mr. Pringles is coming in with a regular squad and is going to totally miss the elite marksman squad, moving between the eastern and centre and a few single riflemen building the sandbags at the top, so no engagement yet. The Elite Marksman takes off the first shot. And will fell a few of the sandbag guys, I think, but not too much damage yet. As they've uh, kind of missed each other in that opening. Eastern Point going to no one yet. It looks like Pringles can probably swerve some of these guys to start capping that flag and make that his flag at the start. Western Point is going to Nat Nat as Mr. Pringles hasn't sent anyone there. A shoot out is still happening. Elite Marksman only have a few targets to hit still. Pringles not venturing or changing his position yet. Second buy not out yet for Mr. Nat Nat. Mr. Pringles second buy straight to the reservist. And is was about to cap, but now it's not. It's just moving up instead. Perhaps trying to catch some other squad with their pants down with a grenade, perhaps. No, he's just going to scout up further. Uh, still no one capping. He's not a proponent, so not a, not a, um, uh, what do you call it? He doesn't uh, um, support the every second counts mantra that <laughs> you got to cap a flag ASAP because it could be that one point to victory. We've got uh, nothing else coming from that, not yet interesting. Just a few singles, another single out here. Just going to scout out his uh, eastern point, make sure his spawn is covered. No buy from Pringles as well, Interesting, in, interestingly. One minute uh, and 50 seconds in. Still got uh, a few MP for his squad, but instead he's buying a few singles instead to just browse the left. So Pringles now is checking out his spawn area, making sure he does not get any, get flanked in. Uh, has a guy, and that Nat's guy, spotting his spawn. And on the other end, look like that Nat's doing the same. Finally a buy out here. We see that uh, lovely Lati 20mm L39 Rifle, um, interesting. It's got a. It's not moving though. <laughs> totally forgot about it. It's it's got a pretty slow fire rate, but is it is a twenty millimeter nevertheless for a very cheap price, and can kind of uh, AP AP snipe the units. Got um, SMG steel from that. That nothing uh, fancy as of yet. Pringles content to just hold his side flag for now. He's just waiting for something to come down the center. Maybe this unit. He forgot to micro. But uh, now he reveals himself on the eastern center to Nat Nat, and he's taken the hill. It's going to be quite a bit of an annoyance to take back from Nat Nat. Black watch out. Um, no, it's not black watch. Sorry, this is the 30 cal squad. I'm guessing. No, what's that? That's the BAR. That's a, just a regular squad. Interesting. So buying a regular. And you know, let's see what it's going to. He's going to do to do. You can probably just melt him right here and just take some flanking shots. Not sending some marauders at the same time the cover with the regular with the cover of the regular squad to go into close range throw a few grenades oh yep no rats out a few guys i'm gonna try and push for a three cap meantime pringles coming with an assault squad down the center try pitting down some of the ranges but they're uh, a decent uh decent amount of guys over here but they're still in the fleet so they're just rotting away Wanting to go rifle range, perhaps. Pounding the guy in the center, taking a long time to kill him. Wow, oh, 200 hit points, Sammy. Has taken him out. Now the shootout from the center. These SMG guys are not in range, so decent move from that back there, just falling back a little bit out of the range of the SMG and now are playing a shootout with the, uh, uh, the Assault Squad rifles. What's that Assault Squad? The MD must be the regular squad. Anyway, here comes the OT-130, may catch the Elite Master with their pants down, Mr. Pringles. Let's see how, the, how this flaming tank goes, very fast. No count from that yet, perhaps, unless there's an AT rifle somewhere. USA does have an AT rifle. Moving in, takes out the Rangers. So it continues its run on this regular squad up here. Ooh, there's a the boys. Oh, and, the, and there you go, OT-130 has perished. It's on the side of Nat Nat, so he can repair that. I think the Marauders must come with the AT rifle or something. That's the one special point from USA. 
And where is that 20 mil? There it is. So 20 mil over here. Oh no, over here. <laughs> Still not in great shooting range. And that is the artist uh, alert. Elite Marksman holds in the center. Not not going for this three cap right now. Marauders plus the regular. Mr. Pringles. Oh no. <laughs> Zero to 14. First game was the other way around. Pringles had a super start. And now Nat Nat is having his uh, super start assault squad. I'm not sure it's assault squad or not. It looks like an assault squad, but it's, uh, it's a regular squad, I think. I see a regular squad. So we've got the MG. Don't know why I think it's an assault squad. It's another Marauder. I think it's the Marauders. You can see the shotgunners. Yeah, shotgunners plus the AT rifle. He loves those that unit. Very versatile. Marauders coming again here as well. Oh, Pringles may punish these guys. That that uh, sends. Oh, this guy throws it away very skillfully indeed. Nice one there by the AI. A lot of fire on these Marauders. Second Marauder squad coming in. Don't have much to do with it. 20 mil from Pringles. Poof. Let's check it out. Oof. <laughs> One shot to cut three there. Oof. I wonder if it's more powerful than normal 20 mm Let me know, guys. Because there are different 20 mm damage uh, damages in this mod. Some 20 mm are better than others. Marauders. And the flame terror from that nat. Interesting flame terror. Marauders and that flame terror, I guess, is going to try to hold this point. Be wary of this, and here's the no scope white death coming on the field as well. 20 mil. Not firing there. <laughs> Sounds so powerful. Yeah, this is the type of shootout uh, engagement that the white death likes. So. Pringles has all the units out on the field that can slaughter infantry in this kind of shootout. Now, now with some flaming action. And eventually all of these troops from the Marine squad. Marines I'm guessing, yeah, no Marauders, they're still Marauders. Interesting. They're all going to get picked off though. Like they're getting a lot of bad shots off. Let's see if this one hits. Yes, yeah, I think it's in an awkward position. For some reason every single shot's missing. 20 mil though is not going to miss. <laughs> and that is actually... Returning the favor with the flamethrower, doing a lot of damage holding his point. Center though has been decrewed by one of the Bordiegas from Mr. Pringles and he definitely needs to, to decap it. He has 65 to 0, very quick lightning lead, 70, uh, 7 minutes in the game pretty much. Excuse me. Salt Squad from Pringles, Reservists. Now flamethrower is still there. It's Let's see if Nat Nat is ready for it. Bit by bit coming in. Flamethrower in the DC. Nat Nat is ready. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, I'm not getting a good shot on that one. Staying all blocking. Um, but nothing in front of this flamethrower now, so he's all alone. They're just reserve us. They don't have the best shots. Why oh, just flame his own guy? Sneaking away. Reserve us, cap it. The flamethrower didn't uh, get any good shots off for some reason. Wow, <laughs> this guy just can't be uh, hit. Oh, there you go, finally. Some more Marauders coming in. No scope, White Death coming to the right. Center being capped by that, that's uh, M1 Garand. Should be overwhelmed soon by Pringles Assault Squad, waltzing down the roadway. Only one Ranger with the M1 Garand. Doof, doof. <laughs> we can take one more down there. That's good at punishing people take, um, attacking one guy. Uh, unfortunately, I'm <laughs> able to get that off. Pringles coming in to cap the center now and may get this majority of cap shortly unless this uh, turns into his favor. It doesn't look like it. White Death is here. There you go. Nothing else from Nat Nat coming. M8 though, Nat Nat I guess is, has this idea to take out White Death with the M8. Not sure about that. White Death 350 MP at this stage. And we'll tick up with Veterancy. A soft score from Nat Nat going to the east. 
as Mr. Pringle's front has looked like it's stabilized with a decent amount of troops everywhere. White Death moved between the center and east again. Airborne squad coming to the center. And this is White Death's favorite kind of uh, engagement, killing all these expensive units. Lati though, still here, it's just, oh, it's so sub subtile. So, now that doesn't actually know it's there, kind of, like it's just sending a full third tier expensive squad at it without really caring because it's just so slow. But uh, oh, finally he does get the M8 on it. Perhaps he was just hoping for the M8 to respond a bit quicker before his squad died. It's decruited. Not, not, uh, not having the micro yet to finish it off. So it's capping the eastern. Pringles are the lone guy here, punishing that nat. Oh, <laughs> and white that to finish the last guy. Nope. This guy finishes the last guy. A very heroic, uh, or oh, non name, <laughs> unknown hero there. Yeah, mate, still not finishing off the unit. It has finished off the unit, actually. My bad. It's gone. Now just firing at the ground still. White Death moved to this position over here. Very important unit to take out. That, that now moving in with some elite marksmen to go to the left hand side. Swedish volunteers from Mr. Pringles going to try to take it off him. Thompson. <laughs> Burn to death. Pringles, uh, now he comes that nut squad. The Swedish volunteers, I believe. Oh, sorry, that's uh, that's a freaking Mr. Pringles. This is uh, the regular squad. Already on that, sir. It could be a defense squad, actually. They're all rifles. I think they're a defense squad, so it's hard to tell. Uh, Tony. Oh, Tony's out. So, looking very strong. He's got the white death out still. So pretty much got three snipers on the field. <laughs> That's scary in a shootout on, on Lumba. So this squad right now is in an awkward position. They're getting ambushed by grenades from this elite marksman squad. Oh no. Nasty. Oh, I thought there was an AT grenade, so that could have been worse. Tony just being used in a very aggressive fashion, not uh, wanting to micro it too much. Oh, that could have been a nasty bazooka, but perhaps it can be still a nasty bazooka. Can he get a shot off? He does! Oh, not that nasty. He takes out two. And uh, I think uh, killed a bit of the house of the elder, so allowed that guy to kill another. Sniper. Now in a great position. Really, one of the snipers put on the hill. Be able to support this assault. And the tawny looks like it's in business to cap the western point off that nat. 91 to 0. Jeez. Didn't realize that five, five points were so ahead to Nat Nat's favor. Pringles is in a dire situation right now, but uh, he's got a lot of guys coming, even a full body Jaeger squad. I think these are the 30th. 30th? No, there's a 40th. Shit, sorry. Oh, all ABS 36s as well. It's going to rip through Nat Nat's. Or regular or defense infantry. I'm gonna cap this quite easily. Look at that. So many MGs, bazookas, Panzerfaust, just armed to the teeth right there. Sniper here, sniper there, sniper everywhere. Where's the third sniper? My understanding it comes with two. Maybe it died. Gaston Neck. Uh, it's gonna be a bit too hard to find it. And that nat uh, looking quite sparse of infantry on the minimap. Not much anywhere. Even Eastern Point looks very <laughs> unguarded. This has a flamethrower though. It can do a bit of damage. Not really sending too much this side. It's got another with this elite marksman guy. It's gonna get picked off by the sniper. One spotter. Um, so no buys from that, that yet. Five minutes away, from, five points away from victory. That's uh, not able to take it. 
Put in Sherman out for a map map to take out what? Perhaps this HE shell, the snipers? There's actually no tanks to fight, no light vehicles to fight. So it might be just a, I guess, a, ca a reflex buy to what he usually buys, but not sure if that's needed at this stage. Maybe there's nothing else he can choose. I guess 1 in 5 could even be an option to take out the snipers. Pringles. Wow, <laughs> able to get so far in while this guy got shot up. But uh, he's able to take the hits and just turn around and kill the other guy. <laughs> Tough bastard from the Tawny Detachment. Elite Marksman out from Nat Nat. Uh, still nothing much. Uh, well, Bazooka's coming through, Panzer Shrek. Nat Nat with Elite Marksman. Ooh, ooh, that was close. He was on about to fire. That's no scope. Uh, White Death doing a lot of damage still. Where? Where's the weight, I guess? There's no infantry killers. It's going to be hard to really get into there. There, there actually isn't that many troops. But they're spread out quite well. And that uh, any sort of shootout, White Death will just take everything out. Looks like he's already trying to. Another a sniper over here. Look how far in Mr. Pringles is from the western side. <laughs> Half-track fire, definitely what Nat that needs, I think, but Tawny Detachment has a lot of bazookas and this may be the end of it. Oh, Panzer Shrek as well. Boom! Oh, lucky, another one there. Boom! Finally takes the other one out, and there's a free 50 cal Pringles can take. This uh, guy's run out of uh, Panzer Faust, so he might as well take the 50 cal. Just uh, fantastic position positions right now for Mr. Pringles, kind of cut off the is well look at the kills so far in the western side so it gives him gives him early warning you can actually see over the spawn and also has full rain over the center down this hill so that that is going to struggle to come up this way so his approach is straight down from spawn which is going to be quite hard to shoot out with the snipers down this way or go all around here and try go through this way it's a bit hard it's really <laughs> got a really good chokehold right now on that net 14 to 95 elite marksman from that map now moving to the eastern point. Right, death. Sherman. Not doing too much to contribute to the battle. Pringles are also taking up, getting a lot of uh, MP out of this, you can see. He's actually got a lot of CP free as well. See, 659 CP used. Getting 0.8 payback per second, pretty damn good, 2 MP per second, and still has a good grip on that, that. Yeah mate, unfortunately not contributing to the battle as much as uh, you wanted to. 76 as well. What has he got here? This is, um, hmm, what is this? I haven't seen this used in, oh sorry, this is, uh, it's like, like a, Oh, big AT gun, what is it? Lots of penetration on this one. It's, it's a 97 pen at 140. Wow. I guess it's like an 88 almost. Uh, just a bit less range, I think. Sherman, doing it's best to slowly uh, take out the infantry. Doing uh, doing okay, but not fast enough to really cause much of an impact in the battle at all. AT gun, most likely going to that hill somewhere. Or maybe over here. Definitely over here, you can see in the minimap. <laughs> that, that sneaky SMG, I mean, not sneaky, that, that's uh, protection over here. Just totally missed it. He's way behind the lines now. Airborne. Going to the right side. We try assault from here. Go downwards. And flank him that way, but uh, White Death will take it or everything pretty much <laughs> in these long ranges. Unless you get a good HE shell on him. Perhaps this M8 and 76 just really need to pound him. To be honest, a sniper would be probably what Night Night needs right now. Just needs to counter snipe White Death. 95 to 29. Now 
moving to a closer position. Ooh. HE shell being shot at not white death. Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, getting close. Getting close. Mr. Pringles waiting. He's both on direct control. That doesn't know it's there, I don't think, because he's looking somewhere else. Pringles definitely just waiting for it. Needs to bait somehow. Maybe just reveal white death for a second. And just run. And that, oh, tracked in the first shot. That was like the most patient or the longest aim that I've ever seen. Finally takes a shot. He probably said his prayers. Ate, a, ate some locals. Finish uh, preserved fish or something. <laughs> Boom. There we go. It definitely will be taken out. Uh, I think, I think uh, the Sherman should only have 130 range. So it kind of impossible to take that out. Oh. <laughs> oh, that Sherman didn't do much at all, did it? Pretty much took out a few infantry and that's it. Uh, was well, probably a reflex buy. You know, you have that meta buyer that you just buy all, all the time. And Pringles uh, didn't uh, buy anything to make it useful and didn't have anything useful on the field. Uh, for that, uh, so didn't have anything on the field at that time for the 76 to make good use of and didn't uh, later on, so he bought the counter very smart buy from Pringles Elite Marksman going to the left There's that uh, black chicken unfortunately <laughs> Trying to get away. It's still eating at the same time. Very, very hungry. Probably kill, I think you can kill it. Pretty sure you can kill the chickens. I uh, usually see them in the barn. Never seen this chicken in Lomba. It's being chased. I don't care. He's going to stand his ground. He's going to hold that, that dirt roadway. Now that, that's full ranger squad. I'm going to meet the Tawny squad, I think. Or the Bodiega squad that actually attacked. Plus this and the Tawny guys. Oh, we're gonna get to the stone rocket. Oh, if he got there quick, we'd have taken out at least a few. But that man gets to him first. And take the right outside of the cover. Now I'm gonna split up a bit. Perhaps use the recourse rifle. And yes, there you go. Oh no, no! It's just uh, the, the new rod straight out, or the landswork, as you call it, for the finish. Oh, that's a uh, ranger squad, unfortunately. Now has been stopped in its tracks. Oh, no, that's going to run away. Fight another day. Pringles just uh, <laughs> checking where they've gone. They're still there. Oh, they're showing this guy. Oh, no. He's dead. Trying to get that last guy in direct control. Does. Does so. Now still to out from that. that. It's got uh, three guys or so, four guys intact from the Ranger squad, so can make an assault after he's taken out that Lancewick. 80 gun though is on a good position. They can fire, I think, pretty far all the way up to the winery area, so the Stuart needs to really take the far route down that hill. It looks like he may, but I think Pringles may even cut him off. Uh, if he walks a bit sooner. Quite precarious now, I think it's uh, almost in, ooh, it was in range just there, but revealed himself, so Matt, Matt should definitely be wise, is wise to that now, and won't be going in. Oh, he's trying to fire shot. He's got range on it. Oh no, Matt, Matt. He's in range. He's still in range. The AT gun can still take it. Boom. Oh no. Now uh, Landswork's definitely going to come out to play. Maybe even go try track the Stuart with his turret down. It's useless. Still going to go for a charge with its turret down. Ooh, it's done a good job. It's tracked it, but uh, oh, all the ranges are getting torn off. And that's track two, and I don't think the Stuart is in a position. Yep, it's not. It's even got killed by the Landswork at that range. And the ranges, remaining ranges, are slaughtered. Get ready for a fight. We've got the fight of your life there, Tanker. It's gone. 59 to 95, Mr. Pringles. 
coming back into this with his uh, counters and infantry calls. That, that's yet to answer. Hmm. What can he go? Probably has no special points left to be honest. He had the, he tried the elite infantry run on the flank. That was no go because of lands work. Stuart, uh, this 80 gun can protect uh, his infantry killer really. Has good reign of all sides. Now perhaps this Rai probably, yeah, he, he can't, he's already got that flag so there's no need to attack that. Center, uh, white death is there. Hmm. M8 needs to, yeah, M8. M8 needs to make an impact. It hasn't done shit. <laughs> it needs to, to find this AT gun, take it out. Find the White Death and take it out. This needs to be doing something. Sniper by probably is what he needs to. I think that might help with uh, countering or spotting at least some of the units that the M8 needs to uh, take out too. Can work in, they can both work together. Another air one squad from Nat Nat, gonna try on this flag again for some reason, perhaps. Ooh, okay. Take that out, then send the airborne to clean up. Hmm. That will work too. Just not, I guess, uh, <laughs> I didn't know that was there, but it was, if this is there, then, oh, let's have a look at this one. Nat Nat, gonna go for that Landsberg. Oh, Landsberg does notice, Landsberg doesn't move. Boom! That was DC because it landed in a very sweet spot right on the side. Explodes in the world flames. The airborne gonna try out shoot these guys, but they're no they're no slouches indeed. These are the border jagers, the top tier, and this is the third tier of USA. So they are out tier, but uh, they are outnumbered. That that is the grenade as well coming in. The grenade doesn't do too much. Flanking here from the other guy. Nice grenade. Finish him off. Make the rest with the shot. Oh, that ABS guy has oh, came back to came back and just took out two guys. <laughs> Fortunate. The rest of the airborne guy coming in there. No, not, not reinforcing here. No scope. No, no scope sniper. That's the 20. Sniper. Working in this position. Finally he's down. And we'll take the flag from Mr. Pringles. And that was pretty well executed from Nat Nat. Though coming in now into the range of the sniper. I'm going to try to guard the point from here. But little does he know he's going to lose quite a few guys doing so. And there won't be much to face off the counter by of the Border Jaegers. From Mr. Pringles. Should probably overwhelm this area. And at the same time, Mr. Pringles has assaulted this side. And that could be the nail in the coffin soon. So, this side, nothing here that can kind of stop uh, Pringles. And this side, looks like the airborne is going to struggle soon once the AVSs start opening up on them. Not the greatest split from Pringles, but it doesn't matter. Looks like he's just going to charge in, use his weight. Trying to punish and does not. So three cap. Oh, oh no, not yet. Airborne's coming. Oh no. Nope. No go. Border Jaeger with the PPS for, PPS 43. And no response by from Nat Nat. It's probably all over. I think he's just out of MP. Pringles had a bit more money up his sleeve saved and was able to afford like a better tier infantry. And you can see by the kill count, the massive uh, damage Pringles has done to the MP wise, and his uh, Nat Nat's already quit, as you can see by the cross. So good game to Mr. Pringles. Well done. He's won both games, so he's got three points up his sleeve. Um, he lost to Flapperjack, so he's got zero from that game. So let's see how he goes versus Godwin, which will be pretty interesting to see. Flapperjack's got three points. Um, versus Pringles has got one point versus Godwin and versus Nat Nat, I'm not sure. So I'm going to look at the groups again. So anyway, I'll do a video after the group stages, which is pretty much very soon. Uh, in the next uh, few casts, uh, it's pretty much all done. I'm not going to cast every game. There's a few games in here, that, like the Rafi games. Unfortunately, Rafi didn't do too well. <laughs> like a eight minute games, seven minute games here and there. And Orange Pest and Duo to either. It's just very one-sided games. I'm not going to bother casting. So I'll see you around, guys. Thanks for watching.